Earth, home to all the life we know. All possible thanks to a complex mix of essential factors, atmosphere composition, pressure, temperature, seasons, elements, and a thousand other things that all made life like it is. What would it look like 150 million years ago? Let's find out. Here we are, right in the Jurassic. On first sight, it seems almost identical. However, the atmosphere composition and the global temperatures were slightly different. Basically, less oxygen and higher temperatures. But that's not all. Its inhabitants, too, were of a different kind. The high temperatures allowed places to thrive, but in consequence, droughts were more frequent. But what this animal is looking for is food. It has been looking for a meal for ages. We will follow it, but first let me give you more information about it. Allosaurus fragilis. We'll call it Al. Al is rather tall, as you can see, compared to the man standing next to it. Also, it would probably beat you in a race. It had significantly long and powerful arms with deadly claws. Its jaws were rather delicate and not bulky like other large theropods. It was also very light with large cranial openings. All those features form a wonderful predator and a deadly animal. But even killers need a nap once in a while. Something else is roaming on Al's territory, at its own peril. It's another common predator of the region. Let me introduce it to you. Another large theropod, but smaller than Al. Ceratosaurus nasicornis. I don't have a nickname for that one. This one too would beat you in a race. Its cranium was short and narrow compared to the Allosaurus and it's awned by a horn formed by the fuse of its nasal bones used for display. The teeth of its upper jaw were exceptionally long, allowing the animal to slash deep into the meat of its prey. Overall, another deadly predator. This weakened individual, though, isn't in its best shape. It's looking for water, which has been scarce recently.
For the past few hours, it has been walking miles without success. But finally, it has come across a small lake. However, something is off. Al is very close and has smelt the odor of the intruder. The predator is now considered as a prey. Al will not lose this chance to eat. The pursuit begins. Step by step, Al is getting closer and closer and it's becoming easier and easier to locate the trespasser. He now has sight of it. Unfortunately though, it has missed its ambush and now is face to face with the carnival. The Ceratosaurus gives its best to intimidate the large predator. But it isn't enough. The Ceratosaurus really had no chances in this fight. For Al, it has been a good day. No injuries and the stomach is full. It can now take a rest. Earth, mother of dramas. An infinite amount of encounters are waiting to be seen. This is only the beginning. <laughs>